Welcome to the Chancellor's Video Blog. I'm Dr. Bruce Leslie, Chancellor of the Alamo Colleges, and I'm standing in front of the Watson Arts Center at Alamo Colleges District, St. Philip's College, because I want to take the occasion to let you know that uh, the Board has agreed to pursue a general obligation bond election this coming May. We'll be at the same time as the city's bond election. And uh, I'm showing you this art center because we think that it would be a wonderful thing for many of you who have not been on our campuses before. Uh, we have so many different events that take place, artistic, uh, in nature, performance-based nature, lectures, that kind of thing. And that, those events might be a wonderful occasion for you to come, participate in that event, and then take a look at our campuses, see the facilities that we already have. We have some great, great facilities, but we also have some many, many old facilities built in the 50s and 60s that either need to be refurbished in a major way or literally torn down and replaced. And so uh, I'll talk more next week about the entire bond itself, but just to share with you uh, some of the regular events, I, I want to encourage you to go to the Alamo Colleges District web page, and from there you can go to each of the colleges' web pages, and you can see the calendar of events and find something that would be of interest to you particularly uh, at one of the campuses maybe that's not in the area in which you live. So if you live on the south side, rather than going to Palo Alto College, go up to North West Vista or San Antonio College and see what's going on there because uh, I think you'll get a wonderful impression, but also give you some deeper insight into why uh, we're going forward with this uh, general obligation bond election. But for example, St. Philip's College, there's a regular President's Lecture Series featuring nationally known speakers. San Antonio College has the SCOBY Planetarium Education Center. We have lots of space exploration programs that are taking place there. And by the way, the SCOBY uh, system now, which is a planetarium and the space center, is considered to be the best challenger center in the entire world. And we have international guests coming to see that uh, facility and the program operations taking place there. So it's an outstanding uh, resource to this entire region. Northwest Vista College has the Palmetto Center, which is their arts center, and exhibits are taking place there, plays, that type of thing. And of course, they have um, very exciting men's and women's intramural programs. Uh, Palo Alto College has the Aquatic Center, as well as their uh, theater arts center. Northeast Lakeview College Performing Arts Center, as well. Uh, they have a regular film series that takes place there. So go onto the web pages. Take a look at the calendar of events, and when you see something that might interest you, please attend, participate in it, but take a look at our campus as well, and I think you'll get a better picture of what we're trying to do. Secondarily, we also, on Friday, this past, uh, broke ground for our uh, district services organization building, our new administration building at the old Playland Park site. This is a place where literally 8,000 years before Jesus Christ people were gathering, they were um, living their lives, they were hunting and cooking and preparing themselves and uh, celebrating their lives. And uh, so there have been people at this site for literally forever. Uh, back before San Antonio was formally established as a city in 1718, uh, the colonists began to dig the acequia. That actually comes from that area, Acequia Madre which uh, became the water flow to the Alamo and to the other missions. Um, so it's a very special and very sacred place. Of course, it's right on the fence with Fort Sam, uh, right on Broadway. So uh, we're going to be building a new facility there. And, and the important thing is because of our great rating uh, of our bonds, AAA rating for both standards and, and Moody's, um, and because of our low debt service, we're able to self-fund that project. So it's not part of the bond election at all. It is self-funded uh, through a separate process. So um, it's going to be a really important facility for our district employees who are literally scattered across the whole region. Some of our employees have to travel 30, 40 miles each way to go to meetings. And of course, we have some that are in facilities that are really in bad shape. So we're very excited and our staff are thrilled uh, that this is going to happen. It'll take a couple of years to construct but it's going to be a wonderful asset to this entire uh, community. It's a park-like setting. We have these beautiful pecan trees that have been there for many, many years that are going to be protected. There'll be an outdoor amphitheater, and we're encouraging the neighbors and others to come there on weekends and take advantage of the facility. So 
Uh, the bond election is going to come in May. We're going to give you more information as things develop. And of course, the DSO building was constructed, um, uh, starting construction uh, last Friday. But the main thing is we'd love you to come visit our campuses if you're not familiar. Take advantage of the uh, wonderful events that take place on the colleges. And uh, I look forward to joining you next time. Thanks.